No, 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 I'm Kelsey and I love colorful things. So we're back once again with another episode of the Not So Buried Challenge. It's a challenge of The Sims 4 where you have one family that you play for 10 generations and each generation is themed after a different color. This generation is the yellow gen. We just started officially dating our boyfriend. I see that y'all love him in the comments. I also see that a lot of you really want our main character, Summer, to settle down, kind of be a little more traditional with things since her mother was so chaotic. However, I saw a couple of you agree with me that it would be kind of a good setup for the gray generation for the fact that maybe the gray gen doesn't have a lot of time with their family members growing up. So because Kakeru is older than Summer, you know, he probably will die when gray gen is pretty young. Also, it seems like Poppy's already died. Haru's probably going to die soon. I hate to say it. So I have a feeling that gray gen is going to be a little disconnected from her family growing up, which was like no fault of Summers necessarily, but would lead up perfectly to Grey Jen being so family oriented and wanting to build a family of her own. So let me know in the comments if you're into that story plan, but for right now, that's kind of what's inspired me. And I think that's like kind of a perfect lead in into Grey Jen. But for now, we don't have to worry about death. We just have to worry about hustling through the yellow generation's requirements. I feel like we're halfway through most of it. So, uh, you know, we'll be kind of of thinking about babies eventually, but I do think Summer might be one of those types of people that does put her career first, in which case she's going to have children a little bit later, which would make sense, I think. So the baby's on the horizon, but not babies right now, you know? So anyway, let's hop back in to Summer's life with Rover and continue on. I actually recorded like five minutes of gameplay and then realized that I wasn't recording the game itself. I was recording my own face twice. So you're coming in a little late. Not much has happened. Essentially, I just found out that Haru has died. Why? <gasps> Haru died? When? When? And we got a notification that Sprinkles Berry was adopted by the Harris household. I believe the Harrises are family friends. So I think that's very sweet that Sprinkles got adopted. But oh my gosh, I'm just devastated that Haru has died. I really thought we'd maybe have more time with him this episode to kind of say goodbye. And we really did it. Oh, it looks like Kataru are really heartbroken. Kataru called us like three times. We were sleeping because we were really tired. And this is the third time he called to ask us on a date. So I think he's just trying to check on Summer because he knows that she's upset about this death. Um, and then we also found out that Jade has actually married to Alan Rasoya. And also Hunter has gotten married to Sadie Williamson, which I think they look like a very cute pairing. So love that for them. We will send some sad texts to our aunts and uncles and then give a big hug to our boyfriend here. Oh my God, I'm so upset for her. She's getting some shared sadness from her uncles and aunts. Haru was a 100% a member of the family. She's gonna bond with Kakeru. Ask for advice. He clearly is taking this hard as well. And check on him. I know that he was close with her dad. How sweet that like her dad and her boyfriend like finished a project together. And that was like kind of her dad's last act. She's just too sad to talk about her dad right now. It's so sad. Oh, she's calming herself down in the mirror in front of Rei Ishii, who's like being a little awkward in the bathroom, not gonna lie. I'm like, dude, back away. She's really hungry too. I wonder if you can order some food. There we go. Let's get some French fries. That actually kind of sounds good. <laughs> some sad girl French fries. Yes, eat the fries, girl. Oh, grab a serving together. That's very cute. Yeah, both of you. Oh, that's so cute. They're sharing the fries. Let's chat with our boyfriend here. He seems to be very like conversational with everybody. Let's become best friends with him. You know what? I forget that he's famous. That's probably why everyone keeps talking to him and freaking out over him. Oh, they just became best friends. So sad. She's no longer best friends with Haru because he died. Also, I realized that today is like Halloween or the day before Halloween. So by the end of this, we'll also have like a little Halloween, like spooky party. So maybe I'll we'll schedule that actually right now. So maybe we'll do, I'm gonna go Tuesday. We're gonna have a spooky party on Tuesday. Yes. Okay. Oh, I don't have enough money. Oh, never mind. 
It's cute. I'm gonna make it spooky day. Here we go. We're gonna have spooky spirit. We wear costumes. Ooh, trick or treat. Okay, spooky day is on Tuesday. So we'll be having our spooky day. She just asked him, do you have fun hanging out with me? And he said, of course I do. She's already feeling like very confident to spending time with him. They've like definitely made each other feel better in spite of her grief, which makes me really happy. Oh, look at them vibing. Well, that was nice time. I'll call you maybe. Um, I hope you call me maybe. I'm literally your girlfriend. <gasps> oh, Alexia's asked us to go out and hang. Can we like come in and hang, please? I love that my friend's inviting me over, but I think we're gonna go home and we're gonna invite her over because I don't think she knows that our dad just died, so. Okay, excellent. So let's invite over Alexia and then we will have her come play chess with me. There's our bestie. Why don't we play with Alexia and we'll chat with her about what's going on in our lives. So sweet, she came over. She's already like, okay, I'll play chess with you. Maybe ask her about her day and complain about the death of a loved one. Just tell her everything. But we're having more fun. She's like, oh my gosh, I had no idea. I'm really sorry. I'm sorry for your loss. I will be thinking of you is what she said. Oh, that's very sweet. They're such cute friends. I love them so much. Talk about the date that you had with your boyfriend and then maybe discuss video games. I feel like they would both be little gamer girls and they'd bond over that for sure. Oh, did we win? We won. Yay. Maybe we'll just play some chess and brighten our day, like just chat with our friend while we play chess. She doesn't have to play with us. Give her residence keys. Yeah, tell her she can come over whenever. They just got a, a sentiment too. They're good friends. Oh, she joined our chess game again. That's sweet. Oh, it looks like we might've beat her again. <laughs> We're too good at chess, what can we say? And she's feeling good about talking about her dad's death with Alexia. Oh, it's like she's got a little family. She's been bonding. Oh, well, let's join the game. Looks like, a oh, Alexia's a nerd like us. Loving chess. All right, looks like she's leaving. She's gonna head home. It is 2 a.m. That's such a sweet friend to stay super late while we're grieving. Make sure that we're feeling good before she leaves. Okay, we are so close to getting that level 10. Come on, Summer. Late into the night, she is playing chess, taking her mind off of her the death of her father. She also played chess, I believe, with her father. It's kind of like a family tradition, honestly. Yes, Max, the logic skill, let's go! Come on. All right, now we need to just fix or upgrade five objects. My thought is like, if I sell this and then I sell this tub, can I afford a laptop? And then can I afford buying upgrade parts? That's what I want. Boom. Oh wait, we also made this like random mirror, I forgot, which we can sell. Could we get a better computer? All right, so we'll just do this like little white laptop. Yes, okay, upgrade parts. All right, all right, all right, all right. Maybe we will upgrade, let's just say the shower, for example. Two common upgrade parts. Common upgrade parts and a plumbing upgrade part. Okay, common, we'll do like six common. Let's do like four plumbing. Check it on all of the upgrades for what uses the least amount of parts and then doing those things first. But this is good for her skill and for her nerd brain. So, oh, again, we worked through the night. Our days and nights are kind of flipped right now. Maybe we should go to bed. And we got work in two hours. Ooh, shoot. Okay, okay. Nothing to fear, nothing to worry about. We're gonna have our emotion potion. We're feeling very focused though, so that's good. We had our emotion potion. I don't know what that did, but seems like good, I think. All right, go to work. I think she's in a pretty good mood for work today. So I think we're good. She's also focused. I think that's perfect. All right, get to work, sweetie. Summer has about 30 minutes of free time at lunch. She should go to the gym. Ooh, yay. She gained some fitness skill. Excellent, excellent. Ooh, we got bills. They're not too bad. Oh, we can't afford our bills. Mm -hmm. We'll hopefully afford it with this promotion. Hey. Oh, look at her in her little space suit though. She's been upgraded to space cadet. Summer was hoping if she accidentally derailed a shuffleboard simulation, she might be able to launch the shuttle and get in space. But it turns out that actual spacecraft are pretty well secured. That's good because Summer is still learning how to space break and star park. Our next promotion is astronaut. We got a bonus of a thousand simoleons, but we don't have work tomorrow, so that's good. So we can afford our bills, which is excellent timing. She's very tired. So let's have her go straight to bed. But we do have enough money to like 
upgrade our home a little bit. I did want to like expand the house. I'll have to think about how I want to expand this house. I do have like some money, but I guess I could just decorate more and that could be more of like what the house's expanse is. Or I could even make this like another one further back, make this kind of back here like that, boom, okay. And then we could push this all back here. I was going to put this here and then have like these here. This would then have like some chairs yellow. Ooh, these ones are cute. We'll do these ones. Perfect. And then we can kind of delete this. Although I love this little seating area here. It does look a little cramped right here. So maybe I need to just have this come in here. I wish this like backsplash would be right here too. I hate that it's kind of like meh, but maybe I can hide it with something like a plant. What happened up here? What happened to you? We're just making a very long rectangle for this house. I kind of like this bathroom as it is, even though I know we could make it better for the dog. I, I like it this way. Am I a terrible person? You know, maybe I will make the bathroom a little bigger so that we can include the dog. Also, I don't like this chair as much, so I'm gonna use this chair. And then we need obviously the dog bed. Maybe down here might be a good spot for the dog bed. Boom. Oh, it looks like we also have this like mission control place, which is really cool. Is this a desk? Can I put the laptop on that? Oh my gosh, I can. Wait, this is too cool. This is too cool not to include in the house. And it's yellow. What the flip? This is perfect. I mean, it's blocking the window, but I kind of don't care. Also, we need a, a different seat then for that. Like mission control, ground control to me. Let's go with this like weird sciencey chair. Perfect. Okay, we got that. That's pretty cool. I think that's probably a gift from work. I think this is pretty good. Again, I want to put something up here maybe. Did you just do another one of these? That looks pretty fine. Oops. I think up here we could do maybe like a couple of these. That looks good. Okay, oh, from the inside at least. Sure, I think this is pretty good. I think it's a good adjustment. Oh, now this is kind of like a wall of her family that she's like lost now. Should we get like a bedside table of some sort? I feel like that might be a good move. Maybe this goes here next to that. And then for the bedside table, we'll do like a little lamp or something. Obviously yellow. This is kind of nice. That screams more summer to me. We only have 600 simoleons left. I was kind of hoping to like get a little more done. Maybe too many windows in this room. Maybe we do delete that one <laughs> there. We don't have a ton of plants. We could put some more plants around the house. That could be good. We put a little plant here. As she is getting older, she is enjoying more and more plants in the home. Here's a planthony. We obviously need that on the sink. Oh, this one's cute. <gasps> and it kind of fits in that little corner that I was hoping for something to fit in. Excellent. Sunflowers in the middle of this table here by her plants. Excellent. It's starting to look a little more lived in this home. Ooh, we should do like a little rug. There we go. Oh yeah, maybe this in, this in the room. Put it here next to this. Okay, we're getting there with the decor. It's starting to look a little, I mean, this part's like very boring looking. I'm not going to lie. Maybe we'll put the one with Poppy over there and we'll just put the one apart over here. That way, it, like at least it fills up the space a little better. But yeah, it's starting to look a little more decorated. Obviously, I would love to decorate even more, but... Oh, I forgot I could do upgrades of the rocket. That's okay. It's fine. Everything's fine. All right, go to bed, sweetie. Is she laughing in her sleep or crying? I cannot tell. Laughing! Okay, she seems happy. <laughs> I'm happy that she's happy. We'll put this maybe over here. Maybe that'll fill up this side of the room. Or we could put it over here. I just keep moving this. I just can't decide on stuff. Oh, she's really stinky. Tank a shower. Oh, she's feeling super flirty and hungry. Oh, well, girl. Our dog has the zoomies again. Ah, I love it when we got the zoomies. All right, what is fun for us? Oh, yes. Upgrading our parts always is giving us a lot of fun and handy skills. Oh, you need to go on a walk. All right, we'll take you on a run. Heck yeah. Okay, we got two of five. Oh my gosh, we only have three left. Yes, we're going on our run run with Rover. Oh, she want, I looked like she wanted to take the dog on a walk anyway. And she wants to read something. Perfect. We can read something about handiness maybe. And we're working on our fitness. We're her witness. Ooh, yeah. Although it is like midnight. So we probably should get to bed again. 
Maybe after a little midnight snack, we'll fuel up after this jog. She's taking a late night jog with Rover, but Rover was down for it. And at least we're being safe, you know, hanging with our dog. Oh, they're bonding through, they're running. That's very sweet. Rough house a little bit and then get some leftovers again. I love the new space. I really like these new yellow chairs. The yellows don't really match, which is a little disappointing, but it's a little quirky, you know? She just loves the color yellow. It doesn't all have to match necessarily. I also could remove this and put like shelves here, which I might end up doing. It looks cute. I think the, the house is starting to come together. Are you just gonna pee right outside my door? Yep. You're gonna poop right outside my door. All right, now we're going to bed. Spooky day is today. Happy holidays, can I come see you? Of course you can. Let's go get some food, chalked with our boyfriend. Invite him inside, give him a little kiss. Maybe celebrate your promotion. I bet he'll be really pumped about that. He doesn't like my interior design. Boy, you're gonna have to change, okay? My interior design is good. You're gonna have to get over it. Oh, I like them sitting at this little Table. I think it fills the space a lot nicely, like a lot more nicely. Oh, look at them having a nice little kiss. Oh, look, our bestie's here. What's up, Alexia? Oh my gosh, I don't think Alexia necessarily knows our boyfriend. We're gonna talk to Kikiru because I don't think they know each other yet. So we're gonna be like, hey, you should meet my boyfriend. He is awesome. And she'd be like, oh, I know him. He's famous. He's a famous astronaut. Wow, I'd love to get to know him. Oh, that's a good friend. Okay, I think he might be upstairs. He's upstairs on our computer, classic. All right, should we upgrade? Let's do the water recycler. Oh, I'm afraid this household is not in compliance. We need eco-friendly appliances. You will now experience an increase in your bills. Oh, okay. Luckily, we can upgrade, I guess, to make them more eco-friendly. So that'll help our handiness as well. Oh, Haru from the grave is asking us to go to little festivals as he always used to do. So sweet. Okay, let's do self-cleaning on the toilet. We don't have to clean anymore. That'd be excellent. Heck yeah. Oh yeah, we're level nine of the handiness skill now. Yes. Okay, it looks like our bestie left. Oh, we only need to upgrade one more object. We're so close with all the upgrades. We'll do it soon, I think. Let's take a shower really fast and then maybe plan our social event. It is 3 p.m. We need handiness and fitness still. Our fitness is not like super high. Oh, I wonder if we could do a like a workout on here. Let's do a power sculpting video. See if we have any room in the house. Yes, we can do it right here. Excellent. Heck yeah, we'll get a quick workout in before our party. Even Rover is joining in. <gasps> There's kids trick or treating. Oh my gosh, trick or treat, trick or treat. Oh, don't ask to leave. Oh no, the kid wanted to trick or treat. Hopefully another kid will show up. I didn't realize they were out. I mean, it's five o'clock, so I guess that makes sense. The kid is back. This reminds me of little Simsy, weirdly enough. Oh my God, let's give him a treat. Stop everything. It's a trick or treater, stop everything. Okay, here we go, I'm so excited. Here's you go, there's a treat to Caden Archer. Okay, bye. Oh my God, how cute. She's thinking about how handy she likes to be. We need to plan a social event right now so that everyone can come over and have outfits. She ignores the tradition of the trick or treating because she's a loner. <laughs> well, you're doing it this year. She doesn't really like kids coming up to her home and chatting with her, but she'll do it, you know, she will. Okay, let's do our spooky party. It's literally gonna, I hate that we're paying this much money for like two people to come over, but it's fine. We're gonna invite Alexia and Kiki Kiru, and maybe Jade to come over as well. Excellent. Okay, we're gonna have a spooky party. We gotta dress up. Oh, I'm a zombie. Oh, I love that. That is the cutest outfit she could have. Although I really wish it was yellow. So I'm gonna just do a, like a little adjustment for her Halloween outfit and make sure that it's like a yellow themed outfit, okay? There is like a yellow zombie. Okay, sick, perfect. We'll just do the yellow zombie. These are really cute. And maybe we'll change up her hair for like her zombie look. I think I like this cute Cute little space bun look, you know, face paint moment. She'll have like some zombie stuff. I'm gonna put in the contacts. She put in like spooky little zombie contacts. Ooh, she went all out for this holiday. She was like, the humans want this and I'm doing it. <laughs> Perfect, Mwah. chef's kiss for the costume. Is this our boyfriend? No, that's our bestie. Our bestie is dressed as a llama and our boyfriend's dressed as a ninja. Very cool. Oh, look, wait, who's this? 
Our aunt, she's dressed like a, oh my gosh, she's actually wearing her like human outfit. Let's talk about our memories of, of Poppy and Taru. So sad. Compliment her costume. You look amazing. Actually, she's perfect because she's got those like elven ears. Maybe flat knowledge. Or let's check on her too. Hopefully we can make her feel a little better. Oh, Michelle and Peach Ishmay. I wish we had the money. Oh my gosh. Michelle and Peach Ishmay look so cute. I wanted to become her friend. All right, we're vibing with our friends. We're having a good spooky time. Oh, it's a trick-or-treater. Why did we change outfits? Like, stop. Did the trick-or-treater go away? That one did, but there's a new one. All right, hopefully she's like, here you go. I'm going to change her outfit so she stops. Listen to some spooky music. You know, monster mash it up at your own party. I'm gonna make like a group so they all come downstairs and chat together. Yeah, let's all like sit together down here, all right? Okay, oh, another trick-or-treater. I kind of want to do trick just to see what it is, even though I don't think she would do that. All right, zombie, stop dancing. Oh, she likes dancing. That's very cute. We'll keep that. Look at that. Boo! Oh my gosh, Darren kind of liked it. Let's give him a treat after the trick. Look at how cute they are. Thanks for coming to the party. Our little zombie queen. I love this outfit for her. I really do. I'm obsessed. I should have gone as a zombie for Halloween. What was I thinking? Dang it. There's still time. There's still time. Okay, let's give this one a treat, okay? We're gonna give that kid a treat. <laughs> Oh, it's not a kid. This is an adult. Okay, Ashton. Oh, it's a teen. All right, teens are allowed. Oh my gosh, my, don't mind my dog peeing right behind me, okay? We're still having a good time at the party. Even Rover's having a grand old time. I'm so happy for everybody. Oh, she's getting tired. It is 10 p.m. Oh, we're feeling, no, we're not feeling hysterical. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Yes, sleep it off, girl. Oh my gosh, that scared the bejeebas out of me. Spooky time shenanigans. She was like cracking up because she's tricked to sleep. Him. No, 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 no. Go calm down. You need to calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Oh my gosh, she's hysterical. No, she cannot die. I can't. I can't. I can't. Calm yourself down, please, girl. Oh, thank goodness. All right, now go to bed. Oh my gosh, scared the bejeebas out of me. Classic girl also like goes to bed during her party. Love that for her. Spooky day was awful. What? I did all the things. Ugh, oh well. I guess we should have gone them without the party. I don't know, whatever, it's fine. And it's lottery day. Oh, she's going straight into work. Summer needs a new challenge at work, but how does she ask the bots? Present suggestions, demand a challenge. I would say present suggestions. I don't think she'd be that intense. Summer hates waiting for others to give her ideas. So she presents her boss with some suggestions on how she can be challenged. Summer's boss appreciates the gumption and praises her. Excellent, perfect, perfect, perfect. Come on girl, work hard, work hard. Hurry up, come on. We don't have much time left. No. Oh my gosh. No. We brought home money though. So that's good. We have no fun. Let's fill the bowl. And that way we can buy more upgrade parts. I think only the upgrade parts that we need would be one common upgrade part. Okay. So we just need one more. Let's order. I know you're tense, but I know exactly what'll cheer you up. Upgrading your sinks and et cetera's. Oh yeah. Yeah. You can come over. Oh, our friend's like, I want to get lottery tickets together. I'm like, girl, we can't. Can. Don't worry about it. Apparently Summer loves the tradition because she's ambitious to playing the lottery. So we're definitely gonna buy a lottery ticket. I think we'll buy them on our purchase lottery ticket. There we go. We'll purchase it after. Now she's happy because she's upgrading some parts and we're, I think we're almost done with the nerd brain aspiration. I think this is it. I think this is our last upgrade and then we're done with the nerd brain, but we still need to finish up handiness. Yes, aspiration achieved. Summer has now finished installing the sink upgrade and she's completed her aspiration for nerd brain. One of the first requirements of the challenge has been completed. This is amazing. Okay, we gotta go talk about the holiday with our bestie. Check on her. Alexia, is everything okay? We are crushing it. We are level six of 10. We're going downstairs. We're feeling great. We just need handiness and fitness and then we are done with that. For some reason, our daily tasks are glitched so we don't ever have to do them, but I still think we should hit the gym and work out or maybe use our workout workout video. Maybe even run our dog around. Oh, we can't play it. All right, let's lecture about drinking from the puddle and then we will take on a, a jog for 
Rover. Hopefully Rover is learning. Oh, Rover has learned not to drink from puddles. Good job, Rover. Okay, let's go on a jog. I know how much you love them. I love how she just goes and does her own thing even when her friends are over. That's very summer energy. <laughs> you know, we can't we can't blame her. She just she's got to do what she got to do. Ooh, we are really smelling. All right, let's go take a shower. Good job. Okay, Rover's home. We're taking our shower. We're gonna mop up. We're feeling real good. All right, oh, our boyfriend's here. Why don't you stay over? Oh, they're so cute. Kikaru is over taking Kikaru of her. That was a pretty bad pun of his name, I think, but you get it. Oh, she's inviting him to stay the night. Be like, you wanna sleep over tonight? He's like, sure. I also think since we have like a little bit of money, I do kind of want to sell this and then get some shells. Yeah, perfect. This looks great already. Yeah, there we go. There's some shelves. Oh, this is kind of nice over here. And we'll put this back where it was before. And then we'll move this maybe here actually and move this over on the table. I don't know, I want it somewhere. Maybe up here, that's kind of cute. Yeah, I think that's coming together. I think that looks kind of nice. Excellent. We haven't spent too much. I really like this here. I think that's like this like industrial look of this object is like really nice. Yeah, the house is definitely coming together. Put the dog bowl here, like at the end of the counter. We've done that before. Put this over here. Pretty. I think it looks nice. All right, let's go to bed. Our friends are all over. <laughs> we just ignore the fact that they're all over. We're having a face mask. Maybe I should put some yellow curtains or something over this. I don't know. Is it weird to have these yellow curtains everywhere? I don't know. Yellow curtains everywhere is like the new thing apparently, according to me. I also think we should do a bigger rug in here now. Oh, we could do this rug under here though. That'd be kind of cute, right under there. That's kind of nice. This one could be good. I like the pattern, so that's kind of nice. I like the geometric aspect of it too. Everything's really shoved up over here though. I wonder if we should move this over a little bit. That looks a little more spaced out, filling the room a little nicer. I will say this is kind of just randomly open, but we could put something there. Ooh, this one's nice. So we spent the money as usual, filling the house. Ooh, we should probably get a photo with our boyfriend too. All right, hopefully we got a lottery ticket. Oh, look at them sleeping in the bed. It's so cute. Although I need to scoot the bed up so it's not clipping with the curtains, but lottery day successful. Hopefully we win. I hope we win the lottery. Lottery. That would be awesome. I really think this house turned out really well. All right, we're feeling, we're up early today. Feeling pretty good. I think we should still sleep in a little bit though. Do we have work today? No, we don't. Blech. We can try today and bust out and finish up all of our skills that we need. So we need just handiness and fitness. So we can try this morning, maybe hit the gym, go hard on fitness, then go some hard on handiness this morning as well. Wake up. Okay, it's time. Let's Let's travel, gonna get this bread, work out, do our little workout routine, hopefully get to level nine. Yeah, longer workout, endurance run. I hope our parents maybe still have that table there. Although I wonder if anyone's moved into the house. Oh, she's, no, why would you flirt with him? Rodolfo, absolutely not, uh-uh. She probably didn't even notice. She probably was like, I don't know what that means. Very playful, girl, you need to calm down. You and your playfulness lately have been freaking me out. All right, she's calming down. Let's do some epic workout. Okay, she's a lot more, she's just playful now. <gasps> Oh, we did not win the lottery. Ugh, I've never won the lottery. We might get there to level nine today. All right, last but not least, we'll finish it out with a boxing round, pushing the limits. Okay, here she goes. Okay, yes, I think you're close. You're very close to level nine. Let's go, girl. Yes, level nine, let's go. Oh my gosh, let's go home. You crushed this workout, girl. You should be so proud. She wants to cloud, guys? No, you do not, girl. No, you do not. Actually, let's maybe just buy the handiness book because I am tired of buying all of those upgrade parts. Maybe we'll try buying the highest one. Salvage into parts. Wait, what? What does that mean? Did we get some parts? Oh my gosh, we got a ton of parts. Oh my gosh, can we upgrade things now? Instant upgrade, heck yeah, let's do it. Oh my gosh, we have all this cool stuff now that we're like level nine of the handiness skill. Oh my gosh, we're so close to level 10. Okay, can we do any more upgrades? Fuel cell, sure, why not? Add a fuel cell. Kakeru. <laughs> I've never 
seen this before. This is the cutest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry for the noises that just came out of my mouth. So I found a ring in Summer's bag. I think she's going to propose to me. I don't know what to do. What should I say? Yes? No? Gah. I'm going to say, say yes. Duh. I guess she, but I feel like she would be like, what do you want? What do I want? I don't know what I want. I wanted you to decide for me. It's obvious I can't count on you for huge impactful life decisions that don't really concern you. Thanks for nothing, Summer Bear. Okay, their friendship went down a little bit. Is he messing with her? What the heck was that? Thanks for nothing. Like if he found a ring and she was like, well, what do you want to do? I feel like he should tell her what she wanted to do. We should have just told him to do it. Oh my gosh. Can we not upgrade again? No. Okay. We've upgraded everything. What about this? We need some parts. We need some parts. We're so close to your level 10 of handiness. Let's go. She's feeling so confident because she's been doing her favorite things, working out and fixing stuff. Heck yes, beyond repairs. We've reached the max level in the handiness skill, which means that we can go do the next thing in this challenge. Oh my gosh. Okay, I have the perfect idea. Let's travel with Kakiru, who is being sketchy about proposals. I was thinking about in this episode asking him to move in with us, but apparently he has other plans. We're going to travel to the park. I have an idea. <laughs> I mean, they've been dating for a while, but like not, I guess that long, I don't know. So now that we are at max level of handiness, there is something that we can do. Here it is, here it is. Okay, we can break it open now that we're at max level of handiness. You wait here, okay, Kakiro. Oh, we stink, apparently. We can't stink for our date. Okay, let's keep doing this. Let's clean up a little bit in, this, in the sink. I cannot believe we didn't shower. Hopefully he like sticks around. We're like much better now. Excellent, excellent, okay. Maybe we'll go hiking around, we're exploring, and then we end up here together. We're gonna run over to the back of the park together. But while he, we're waiting for him to come, we're like, oh, that's interesting. What's this? I'm a max level of handiness. I would love to break this open. There he is. Oh my gosh, here she goes. Okay, we're, we're, gonna, we're gonna give him a little kiss and then we're gonna go explore in there. Oh, very romantic. Let's check on him. Are you okay? Why are you acting weird lately? Maybe it's because he's getting older. How old is he? Let me see. <gasps> Adult 24 out of 25. Oh my gosh, he's gonna age up really soon. This is a putting everything on a very different timeline for me, honestly. But we're going in and we're exploring. Excellent. Okay, we're exploring the cave. This is a requirement of the yellow gen, so I'm really excited that we're getting to do this today. Summer Ever the Intrepid Explorer sets out to spelunk the cave. There are two pathways. The narrow of the two is a bit stalag tight, but Summer stalag might fit if she squeezes in. Let's do the narrow path. I have no idea how to get in. So hopefully we'll get it right the first time. Okay, we become frustrated. All right, we didn't make it. All right, let's do it again. Okay, let's take the wide path this time. He's still trying to talk to us. Kakiro, he's like, how's it, how's going, it going in there? there? No need to try something dangerous. Summer creeps down the main branch and spies through the dim remaining light, a switchback headed gradually up and a rickety ladder heading down. Let's climb the ladder. Whew, we made it to the next one. Summer carefully plunges into a black abyss, groping her way along splintery rungs. After a long descent, a faint azure light starts to fill the expanse below. She can step off into a dim mossy precipice or continue into the blue. I'm going to keep climbing into the blue, I think. <gasps> oh my gosh, it changed color. I think we did it. <gasps> Seemingly infinite rungs take Summer down and down and down. After an exhausting while, she realizes she needs to retreat. Flip. We were so close. All right, Summer, let's go. We're going to take the wide path. Okay, we're climbing the ladder. Okay, we're going to step onto the ledge this time. Yes. We're going to travel to the grotto. A soft, mossy path leads Summer effortlessly onward until she spies the entranceway to a beautiful grotto. We did it! We're gonna go to the Forgotten Grotto! I've never done this before on my own. I'm so excited! Oh my gosh, here we are. We're in the Forgotten Grotto. <gasps> Wow, it's beautiful. Oh my gosh. And we're gonna go over here and she's going to invite Kakaro in. She's gonna be like, Kakaro, come join me in here. Oh my gosh, this is definitely giving me like alien vibes. This place is so gorgeous. It, it reminds me of an alien place. Summer is like, oh wow, this is gorgeous. This is beautiful. But she's gonna call him in here. Hopefully he joins her. There he is. Okay, okay, here we go. We're going to caress his cheek. We'll be like, thank you, 
for coming. You know what? I think he's like kind of fed up with Summer because she's a little bit of a slow mover and he knows that she's not ready for a commitment because she's focusing on her job, but he's, he's not getting any younger, unfortunately for him. So she is going to pick up what he was putting down in this forgotten grotto. We are going to have a very important question. I love that she's proposing. Kakiru, will you marry me? And he was like, yes, I will. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. Oh my gosh, she's so happy. Let's travel together. We're gonna like ask him to come home with us. They're going to woohoo to celebrate their engagement. He's going to maybe stay the night. I actually think maybe she should ask him to move in, but she's gonna do that maybe after. They uh, have a little celebration moment together. But break out the candles because they're having a bit of a good time. Roverberry down here being extra cute. Oh my gosh, we only have fitness left. Yes! of all of the skills. She's gonna wake up and then maybe she should ask him to move in. She's like, would you wanna move in together? Yes! Okay, he's gonna move in. <gasps> he's bringing money. Well, I'm not gonna stop him, you know, from bringing all of this money over because there's no one else to take it. I guess I have to, oops. And we're gonna get to know him really well. These two are engaged. I'm so happy, especially since he ages up like literally today, I think he becomes an elder, which is quite crazy. She's an adult in two days though. So he's, he's quite a bit older than her, I'm now realizing, but she's gonna be an adult when he's an elder. He's gonna be a little silver fox. It's gonna be all good. They are gonna have plenty of, of life together, but it it does suck because he's gonna like leave her and she's gonna be all alone. So all of her family are dying, which I hate, but it's fine. I guess I have to take care of this other Sim. Kakira is like really pumped that he's getting married though. It's so cute. But he does not like the, the decor, which I am going to literally change because I'm honestly like absolutely not. You are not allowed to hate the decor in this house. I don't care what your preferences are, sir. You're not allowed to hate the basics, okay? You're not allowed. But these two are going to bed. It is Friday at 2 a.m. I think they both have work. Actually, he's an astronaut. He's level seven. He's like her superior right now, actually, still. <gasps> he just aged up. Oh my gosh. Whoa, that was fast. I was like not expecting him to age up immediately. Oh my gosh. Well, I guess we got to give him a makeover. Okay. Is there like, I kind of want to give him that like in between hair where there's just like a bits of gray in there. You know what I'm saying? More gray eyebrows to like fill it in. Silver Fox, he's got like bits of gray in his hair. He's going gray, but he's not fully gray yet. That's that's what's, you know, more important. I think he looks pretty good, you know? We don't want him to be so like mature yet, but I think maybe like a cardigan look might be cute on him. Give him like a little bit something different. He's a handsome older gentleman. So I guess guys, I am going to leave this one right here. We are engaged. Summer now has a new roommate and he's feeling very happy and energized. Maybe we should get a photo with him before I end this. We're gonna take a photo. I know she doesn't like taking photos, <laughs> but we're going to do it anyway. Wake up Summer, she is so focused. She loves that she's getting married and that she's engaged. Do you wanna take a photo together now that we're engaged? Okay, where, where are they? Like literally, excuse me? Is this supposed to be them? Why did that just glitch? I don't understand. Go outside, please. I am frustrated. I am frustrated. Oh, he likes fitness. Good for you, buddy. There they go. Okay, it's everything's good. Everything's fine. Everything's better. Oh, his teeth look terrible. Kakiru, uh, gotta brush your teeth. Okay, go go eat if you're so hungry. Oh my gosh, she's gotta go to work. All right, well, we'll get the photo in the next one. I'm gonna leave this one here. So annoying, but I hope you guys enjoyed the surprise engagement in this secret world in uh, Oasis Springs. So the only two things left of the yellow generation are technically mastering the astronaut career and visiting six them. So we're actually wrapping up summer really rapidly. It really snuck up on me and I was not expecting it. So yeah, we, we only have a bit left to go. I'm very excited for summer. I hope you are too. We'll probably have the wedding in the next episode. Until then guys, I'll see you around the internet very soon. Bye.